giant fish eagle. Super excited to see it. This is such a stunning creature. And always around Chitwood Dam, I am sure the spear that we often look at when we come down here has been or have been the king and queen of this particular dam for quite a long time. Now I keep hearing alarm calls. Sounded now like maybe a guinea fowl heard or saw something. So we're just gonna maybe stick around this area. Perhaps Tandy and Tamba are really not too far away and it would be quite interesting to see if they do come around. Here's to hoping guys. Now the fish eagle is over there and if you look at its crop, so at that area just underneath its beak you see that it's looking quite full. And the reason for it is because it, they, it seems like these guys have managed to make a kill, which we actually have found not too far from the water. So it was funny because I think we spotted the kill before the fish eagle. So not too far from where we are and very close to the edge of the water. I think they just haven't been able to, to, to fly away with it because it's a bit too big. But what we're looking at there, it's a half eaten barbel. Look at that. So it seems like the fish eagles have been quite successful in their hunting. I don't think it was the crocodile just by the way that it's been eaten. And I reckon the crocodile might have eaten it all already. I'm not too sure where Vlad is this afternoon. I haven't been able to see him from here. But this would definitely not be from a hippo. So I think the fish eagles have been feeding off of it and have been enjoying a very nice meal today. But like we said, it still looks that like it's maybe a bit too big for the eagles to fly away with it and try and put it in a tree or in an area where nothing else is going to come and steal it from them. It could... I wouldn't be surprised if there was any type of leopard or just any other little creature around here that might come and steal this barbell from the shore.